Hello everyone, this is Noble H. Westack, and today we are here with another main association of math leagues problem from March 2010, meet 5, round 4, problem 3, conics. So these are all three problems that you would see in a conics round from 2010. Try to see if you can solve all three problems within 12 minutes. Okay, so today we are doing problem 3. A circle is tangent to the lines 5x plus 12y equals negative 21, and 5x plus 12y equals 83. Its center is on the line 2x plus 3y equals 7. Find the equation of the circle. So, we have two parallel tangent lines, and then we have a another line going through the center. So first, let's just draw the circle and the tangent lines. So, um, I've drawn the center, O, and this is the whole circle, and then I've drawn the two radii from the center, uh, the two radii to the point of tangencies, which are perpendicular to the tangent lines, which is why I've drawn these two right angles in. And then, what you have to realize here is that these two interior angles, at the same side interior angles, add up to 180 degrees, so that means this whole, these two radii are collinear because they create interior angles of 180 degrees in between two parallel lines. That's a theorem related to the same side in interior angles theorem, but if you want to prove that, I'll, you can ask me in the comments, but I won't go into that too much here. Just know that these two radii create one line, which means that they are diameter. And the midpoint of a diameter is the center. So O is the midpoint of these two points of tangencies. That means the line in halfway between 5x plus 12y equals 83 and 5x plus 12y equals negative 21 goes through the center. So the line halfway in between 5x plus 12y equals 83 and 5x plus 12y equals negative 21 is 5x plus 12y equals the average of 83 and negative 21. The average of 83 and negative 21 is 83 plus negative 21 all over 2, which is 31. So 5x plus 12y equals 31 goes through the center. Okay, so hopefully you see how this line is halfway in between those two lines, and that goes through the center. And now I'm going to introduce the other line, 2x plus 3y equals 7. I've gotten rid of the 5x plus 12y equals negative 21, because we won't really need it anymore. And now, to find the equation of the circle, we want to find the center and the radius, which we can do right here. We can find the center with a system of equation with 5x plus 12y equals 31 and 2x plus 3y equals 7, since those are two separate lines that go through the center. So that's how we'll find the center. Once we find the center, we want to find distance from O to the tangent line, since that's the radius. As you can see, the perpendicular distance from the point to the line is the radius here. So once you find the center, we can use the point to a line formula to find the radius. And then we can just plug that into the equation of the circle formula, and we're done. So first, let's find O using the system of equations. I've multiplied 2x plus 3y equals 7 by 4 in order so that both equations have a 12y term. Then I subtracted the two equations from each other to get 3x equals negative 3. That gives us x equals negative 1. Substitute ba that back into the original equation, and you get 2 times negative 1 plus 3y equals 7. Solve for y, and you should get y equals 3. That gives us that the center O is negative 1, comma 3. Okay? And then, we use the... We, first, the tangent line is 5x plus 12y equals 83. And then we use the point to a line formula to find the distance. So 5x plus 12y minus 83 all over squared 5 squared plus 12 squared. The denominator becomes 13 when you calculate that out. And then you substitute negative 1 for x and 3 for y. 
this the absolute value of the denominator is 52 and 52 divided by 13 is 4 so that's that and then we just substitute back in so x minus negative 1 whole squared plus y minus 3 whole squared equals 4 squared the double negatives become a positive and 4 squared is 16 so it's x plus 1 whole squared plus y minus 3 whole squared equals 16 and we're done that's the answer right there so this round is very interesting because most of the problems threes are about hyperbolas and ellipses, so you need to know a lot of the properties of hyperbolas and ellipses, including a squared plus b squared equals c squared for hyperbolas, and a squared equals b squared plus c squared for ellipses. I did this problem because I thought it was different from the other problems and more interesting. You also need to know properties of parabolas for this round, particularly in like vertex form, and knowing how knowing the 4p part, where p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. And yeah, but if you know the properties of conics, I think this problem, there's not really a bunch of clever tricks you need to know in this problem, there's just a bunch of methods and a lot of properties to know in this round, so it's more memorization, unlike the other rounds. So for me, this is a relatively easy round. But I like this problem because I think the trick here was to know that O went between the midline of these two lines. And that took me a while to figure out, which is why I like this problem. So I hope you like this problem too, and have fun doing math!